morning. I'm Deirdre Fitzpatrick. I'm Chris Reba sitting in for Walt Gray. We start in Fairfield City Council member is in the hospital this morning after he was shot. 22 year old Matt Garcia was going into a friend's house last night in the 5000 block of Silverado Drive in Cordelia. And that's when police say he got shot in the back of the head. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Crime Chronicles. In today's episode, we're going to cover the case of Henry Don Williams, a.k.a. Kylie. September 1st, 2008, Labor Day. According to trial testimony, Williams, age 32, had gotten a call from Gene Allen Combs, age 46. Combs proceeded to tell Williams that he had been cheated on a $50 buy of meth. The two decided to meet up at a local fast food chain. Williams arrived at the fast food spot with his pregnant girlfriend, Nicole Stewart, age 33, was driving. Combs showed up a few minutes later and got in the car with Williams and Stewart. The three drove to the 5,000 block of Silverado Drive, an area located in Cordelia, California, that night searching for the drug dealer who had cheated Combs in a $50 buy of meth. Combs spotted the victim drive by and told Williams it was the drug dealer they was looking for. Williams told Stewart to pull over and pop the trunk. Williams got out and went to the trunk and pulled out a gun. The victim was down the street talking to a lady. Williams fired eight shots repeatedly into the dark street, striking the victim once in the back of the head. Williams got back in the car and Stewart drove off. It was later reported it was a case of mistaken identity and it was not the drug dealer they was looking for. The victim turned out to be Fairfield City Councilman Matt Garcia, age 22. Garcia was visiting a friend when he had got shot. Garcia was declared brain dead the next day after the shooting and was taken off life support. Garcia was one of the youngest elected officials in the state of California at the age of 21. Family and friends said Garcia was a charismatic, authentic, and a leader. When he spoke, the people listened, and he listened to the people. September 13, 2008. With the local police working the case, trying to figure out who had done this, it was reported Combs, high off meth, went to the police station and confessed to the case. Combs also told on the involvement of Williams and Stewart. Shortly after, police raided Williams and Stewart resident and took Stewart into custody, who was nine months pregnant at the time. Williams was not located at the home. Stewart later admitted to being a getaway driver. Stewart and Combs were both booked into the county jail on suspicion of murder and conspiracy. Stewart was released a week later with no charges. Authorities released a photo of Williams and hit a press conference where Fairfield Police Chief Keaton Rainey said a message to Williams. Turn yourself in. We will hunt you down and bring you to justice. September 20, 2008. U.S. Marshal in Eastern California developed information that Williams had fled to the Las Vegas area. Williams was hiding out in Las Vegas, a city where he had prior lived years back. Williams was familiar with that area and was able to find housing and employment right away. Deputies, U.S. Marshals, and Task Force officers assigned to Nevada located Williams. Meanwhile, Williams fled the state. He was found working in a restaurant in Nevada under a different name. Williams was extradited back to Solano County, where he was stand trial for murder. Williams and Combs were tried separately. Williams' trial was one of the most highly profiled cases in Solano County. In May of 2010, both got convicted of murder. Combs was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. That verdict handed down by the jury today in the case of Henry Don Williams was a guilty verdict. You can hear the family and friends of Matt Garcia cry out as the guilty verdict was read. Defendant Henry Don Williams sat still, showing little emotion at learning his fate. Williams showed no emotions when he got sentenced to 50 years to life in prison. The story doesn't end there. In 2015, Williams would make news regarding his appeal. In his appeal, Williams alleged that Judge Robert Browers was mistaken in rejecting his claim of jury tampering and misconduct during his 2010 murder trial. Williams claimed he deserved a new trial because of a brief encounter in a courthouse hallway between a juror and Williams' wife during his trial. Williams claimed a juror who eventually became the jury foreman offered to swap his vote for sex. 
After more than a year of delays and several hearings, Brower rejected Williams' appeal. As of today, Williams is serving his 50 years to life sentence at a California state prison. His parole eligibility date is November of 2035. Good evening, good evening. Now, this is a blessing. This is wonderful. Uh, I was touched uh, two months ago in December, December 9th, I believe, on East Table. There was a shooting. There was a shooting that hit this, hit this town real hard. It was a, a young man who had a lot of dreams, a lot of goals. He got caught up in the wrong situation. And things like this are happening all over Fairfield. We got to stop. We got to stop the violence here. Thank y'all for watching. Please click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. Leave a comment, click the thumbs up button, and share it.